absolutely stunning deep rich colours fantastic thank you Mrs H um, welcome to the Sunday shave to the weekend shave and I hope as always you're in good spirits good health and you're having good shaves um, we're going back in time a bit in this one um, and we're going to start off with a 1966 Schick razor twist to open uh, non-adjustable and inside I've got a brand new Persona Red blade um, this is the gold version as you can see in excellent condition um, very nice indeed and there's the logo there is that the right way around? Oh, I think that is there you go, lovely razor uh, there is overhang to be aware of you can see there uh, shaving soap or cream is Supermax Classic. I've used that for a while. I'm not sure if I've used it on camera. Um, Supermax Classic uh, 3 Triple Action Aloe Vera, Vitamin E, and Tea Tree Oil. As you can see there. So give that a go. Um, Persona Red, which comes in the wrapper in that box. Uh, red mixing bowl, but first I'm going to not use any pre-shave for a while, so I'm going to use the True Fit and Hill This citrusy Loveliness, oh, and it's not um, Need a few drops. It's not a It doesn't leave the skin oh, Greasy As the inexpensive ones may do, but they work just as good But this sort of Does its job um, doesn't hamper the shave in any way. Doesn't make it too slip, slippy, if you understand. Oh, smell that beautiful. Like peeling an orange. So, True Fit and Hell pre shave oil. Ultimate Comfort pre shave oil. Quite right. And then we're going to use another blast from the past, or the handle is. It's, this is a Never Ready um, 150, isn't it? Yeah, 150, Ever Ready 150. And um, a horse hair brush. Something I'm sorry I didn't get a long time ago. As I may have said before, if you haven't catched it, I always uh, shied away from horse hair with this idea it would be scratchy and sort of prickly too much. A bit more water. Um, how wrong I was is like a badger brush. As soft as a badger. Oh, that is nice. It's a, not a, it's not a scenty soap. It's got a scent, but it's sort of, um, well, a mixture of aloe vera, uh, plain shaving soap scent, and um, yeah, there's no well tea tree oils there, but I can't. It's not a strong scent. At the moment, and there we go, and that'll do. Peaked. So here we go on top of the shaving oil. Beautiful brush. That's a nice soap. Nice and easy, isn't it? Sunday, nice easy shave. Thick, creamy, just as I like it. We may go a bit wet in a minute. Have no uh, fear. Right. Off we go. Make sure we got nice clean hands and dry hands. Rinse the razor under hot water and on to pass number one with the growth. Here we go. Chic double edged twist to open 1966 razor. Let me set the scene. 
Elvis Presley playing in the background. Jim Reeves, Roy Orbison. Beautiful, not aggressive. Not aggressive at all. You can just feel it nicely. I would say it's slightly more aggressive than a Wilkinson Sword classic for me. Excellent audio feedback, cutting the whiskers. And um, again, I cannot help thinking and thanking the person who bought this brand new. Look at the condition of that. This is one of a collection I had a few years ago um, from Donald, Navy Goat, sir. Um, and it's been looked at, look at that. Beautiful. Working a treat. Oh, and I'm going to answer the comment. I did answer the comment, uh, I think, so far. I got some, well, by the time this goes out, I will have answered all the ones I've got at the moment. Um, someone asked, do I rinse between passes? Sometimes I do put some sort of water like that, but really it's just to clean the soap off. But normally I like to leave. Uh, I don't rinse between passes because I feel uh, each application of soap when you've shaved you just leave a thin film of slickness on your face and then when I reapply for the second pass, the third pass, the pickups you add into that film of slickness the protection and the more you shave the more you need that protection in my head anyway um, because you're you know each pass you're getting nearer to the skin the whiskers are going uh, the whiskers protect you on the first pass. It's less on the f less protection from the whiskers on the second, and even less, or if any, on the third, because you're right to the skin then, um, which doesn't stop me over shaving, as you well know. <laughs> but anyway, on to pass number two. Okay, welcome to pass number two. I'm just going to go slightly to the tap. I just dipped it on the on the tap there. Look at that. Smell that. Beautiful. As I say, it's not a scenty soap, but it's a nice, pleasant, scented soap. It's not a soap you'd buy for the scent, it's a soap you'd buy for his price and for his performance. There we go. Uh, what are we having Sunday dinner? Pork chops with the skin on, with the rind on, which will crackle up um, beautifully. And I always, this is my little thing. Oh, boiled potatoes. Um, uh, mushy peas, mushy peas probably, uh, carrots and uh, lashings of gravy, lashentos of gravy, lashentos, that's for Natalie, if you're watching, and um, what cider, have I got cider? Oh, mystery cider, I'm not sure, there is some there, I can't remember what it is, but uh, this is what I say, the pork chop, when it's cooked, I take the crackling, the rind off, eat the meal, 
and the crackling is the last thing I eat as my treat. Um, but maybe that's just me. So pass number two using the shik. I hope I'm saying that right and I apologise if I'm not. Made in America, USA. Uh, using the shik. Shik. Uh, Krona, 1966. And very nice and comfortable it is. Always wonder who owned it, where they worked, where they lived. And judging by the condition, did they use it? <laughs> Chin area. That's what you want to hear. Beautiful. Lovely slickness on this soap. I can feel it already. Excellent. As I say, I keep saying in case you just joined us. Not aggressive. To me it feels slightly more aggressive than a Wilkinson Sword Classic um, or like one of the Gillettes, you know, just a mild sort of Gillette but um, on a mild setting I should say if it's an adjustable uh, but very comfortable, it just does the job, plots along, plods along, blah blah blah, does it um, no surprises, just perfect for a Sunday morning shave before you adorn your chef's attire to command the kitchen. That sounds good, doesn't it? Right, enough of that jibber-jabber. On to pass number three. And if you're still with me on pass, <laughs> pass number three, we're going to go... Should we go back to the tap? Come on, then. wet heads. Back to the tap. A bit too much on that, then. But you can never have too much. Not with a soap like this. Oh, smell. Beautiful. Mm, very luxurious actually. Supermax. Classic. I think they sell, or did sell, various versions of this. I've had this a while now. Um, very nice. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Okay, against the growth. Here we go. I'm sure if you can hear the, uh, either the radio or the television. Can be an awkward bit there, it's just that little seems to be a little sort of dip under your chin, especially if you've got a second one of these second chins like me, <laughs> it gets deeper. But um, tautness is the key, hmm? Tautness, I tell you. Thank you, sir. Why? Well. People asking about his lordship. Well, he is visiting. Uh, exact dates, I don't know. I went to see him. 
um, last week and uh, after having lunch lunch with him uh, I went for a walk around the grounds and uh, I posed for a, uh, a picture in front of the the front garden pond as we call it and uh, here's the picture it's um more of, more of a lake, isn't it? Well, small. So uh, he will shortly visit at some point. It's very nice this under the nose as well. comfortable razor to use. This would be a very good uh, daily razor this. Oh that's another question I had. Could I show how I would shave daily? So I might I might go over that on the midweek shave on Wednesday. Um, how I if I had to shave every day how I would do it and avoiding sort of razor burn and all them sort of issues but having a good shave to look at right what time is it now it's pickup time so here we go pickup time Rinsey, rinsey, and off we go we. I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. I know, I know, just bear with me. Bit of excitement on a Sunday morning. You'd be this excited if you were shaving at this very moment. Or well, you might be, I hope you're enjoying your shave, if you are. Watch that iPad doesn't drop off that shelf. <laughs> and anybody using an iPad watching this, maybe I'm shaving, will think, hey? <laughs> How did you know that, Paul? Elementary, dear Watson, elementary. Mostly silent then, but here we we'll just use water. Have you gone over that thing again? That's lovely. Right, I'll just rinse off. That's beautiful. There we go. Always feels beautiful. Always feels beautiful.
Oh, beautiful. And, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to have a bit of bay rummy type thing. I'm going to have a medicated, or medicated super hazel, which is the witch hazel. Um, yeah, very sort of dentisty, anaesthetic scent, which I like, like a bay rum. I like that type of scent. No feedback, which I'm rather surprised at. That's lovely, very nice. And then another classic, Pinaud Clubman, uh, what's this, Virgin, Virgin Island Bay Rum. There you go. Ooh, smell that. Large top, so. There we go. Oh, smell that. Oh, that's classic in a bottle, that is. Oh, slight tingle here. That's because I go over it and over it and over it. What's the closest shave you can ever have? Blood. Can't get no closer than that. <laughs> when you see skin, in that razor, you know, I've had a close shave today. <laughs> and they don't get no closer than that. Right, see, I've overdone it here. Always oh, that section. And if I, the trouble is, if I don't go overdoing it in the next shave or two, it's fine. It'll disappear. And it looks worse than what it is normally, but uh, because I go over and over, <laughs> <laughs> you get that, but uh, no problem. And I'm using a very inexpensive one pound in money for Tesco's body lotion, um, sensitive, fragrance free. And uh, yeah, don't need a lot. Sort of a Nivea texture. Not much of a well, just a basic cream scent. Oh, that is nice. Bay rums coming through. I like it. And I'll leave you in good peace now. Everywhere's been moisturised. And that is it. I shall keep you good people no more. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having some, as I say, fantastic shaves. I hope your weekend's been going good for you. And I hope you have a fantastic start. Look at this, look. <laughs> to next week. Um, yeah, it's okay. And yeah, and some fantastic shaves. I hope the postman, the mailman, well, I don't think they knock your door, do they, in America? It all goes in a post box at the end of the drive. But uh, anyway, I hope you get some deliveries from whoever. Have some good stuff and uh, get some ideas for Christmas presents. One good thing with wet shaving you'll find if you're new to it. There must be razors, all sorts of stuff you'll want to try. And you'll be, it'll be fantastic for your family because they, you know, you can give them a list. These blades, brushes, razors, whatever, you know, and say that. Any one of them would be fantastic, thank you. And it gives them ideas for presents. Right, leave you to it. Have a fantastic rest of Sunday, if you're watching this Sunday morning. Have a good start to next week. Good shaves, stay in good health, stay happy, positive, and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.